Hi team, I'm delighted to be joined by Sean from New Balance. Uh, Sean is the go-to aficionado of all things New Balance cricket. Um, he's been with New Balance for over five years. He's looked after the range from entry level up to elite product. He also looks after some of the England players, so we might have a bit of a chat about that in a minute. Um, but we're gonna, have, we're gonna try and get the insights on New Balance, you as a brand, you as a range, uh, you in cricket. Um, lots of people probably know you as a global sportswear and, and probably primarily footwear brand. Um, but we're going to explore new balance in cricket for the next few minutes and um, see where we get to. So Sean, um, as we said, delighted to have you here today you. down at the centre. Um, new balance, uh, I guess to the cricket audience out there, are probably perceived as maybe a um, a new challenger brand to the market, um, new into cricket, not, not been around for hundreds of years in cricket, mm -hmm. but a well-known name probably in most households. Yeah. Um, how, 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 when did it all start? So Cricket for New Balance started around 2013-14. Um, we predominantly came into the, <clears throat> into the sport as a footwear only brand because that's, that's our heritage as a, mm. as a company. So we're just looking after the the spikes. Then we gradually moved into into the equipment, and then over the years, it's just gone from strength to strength. And I think looking looking into the future, I, I only see us going going in one direction. It's it's certainly been, I'd say, uh, a, a bit of an explosion into the cricket market. Yeah. Um, since 2013, 14, when you first entered with with the footwear, you've 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 gone on to develop, you know, a full equipment range, pads, gloves you know bats mm -hmm. um and and how, how did how did you go about that process what what you know where where did you where did you start with the ideas obviously footwear must have gone you, you dabbled in the market it went quite well yeah and then you thought well you know we'll take this one step further yeah so it all really started from from our south africa office um with one of the uh one of the staff there being um relatives of Jonathan Trott. Right. So he was one of the first global ambassadors for New Balance. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and that's where the equipment ranges started for us. Um, and just over the years, it's sort of, the more we've sort of, the, as, long, as time's gone on, the knowledge that we have with the products is, is ever growing. The development that we're doing is, is always continuing, footwear especially. Um, and just the products, as I sort of said, is going going from strength to strength. Um, and I only see the brand doing the same thing, really, mm. not just in the cricket, in, in all all categories, and cricket being a key driver for us. So um, as we move into 2022, then um, we've got your range behind us here in terms mm -hmm. of the different families. Um, starting with, let's start with your, your TC range. Yep. Um, what, what, what was the influences with the TC range when, when you first brought that to market? So we just wanted something that would sort of fit the majority of players um, and that's exactly what the TC does. TC stands for traditional cricket. Um, so what we've done within that, we've kept a very traditional sort of blade shape, mid to high sweet spot, but it is again still suitable for those front foot players who do like to drive the ball. Mm. Um, from a pads perspective and from a gloves perspective, we've kept it as pretty much as the, as the name goes, as traditional as it can be with the seven cane, seven cane pads, um, traditional cane as well. And the gloves are just a, a real sort of traditional split finger design with yeah. the um, high impact areas in the index fingers covered with the additional protection. And I think the, the TC range itself has been it's been really popular over the last few years. Yeah. Um, you know, for a number of reasons, which we'll, we'll probably talk about shortly. But purely from a range point of view, mm -hmm. the product's really well put together. Yeah. Um, it, it 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 looks like a range across across the softs and into the bats. Yeah. Um, the fact that you do an, an you know fantastic footwear range to go to go with it as well mm -hmm. means that a cricketer from sort of you know pretty much head to toe is it can be completely kitted out in New Balance, yep. which which wouldn't have happened 15 years ago. No. So um, it, it's great to see you as a brand in the market. Um, it, it's great that you're bringing new ideas and a freshness to the market, and I mm -hmm. think that's probably what we see a lot in our stores and online is people 
wanting to stay current with yeah. with what they're using. Um, so, uh, so the t is, and, and it's great that you that just spell any myths here. So, TC, we lots of people, you always get lots of chat. And what does TC mean? Is it Test cricket only? Is it <laughs> traditional cricket? What you know, little things like that. Not many people really often realise. So, so on that note, let's let's move to the DC range. Mm -hmm. um, what, what what does DC mean? So, DC stands for dynamic cricket. So, this is a slightly lower sweet spot for generally for those front foot players. It's got a rounded face. And a more square toe. Um, you've got to do various profile, uh, various price points within that, but it's also the dynamic side of things comes across in the pads and the gloves. Um, it's generally to sort of stripping back some of the weight on that. So we're in your DC pads, as you can see here, you've got the middle three canes are just standard traditional cane, and then yep. the outer four are all reverse cane. That just helps to keep some of the weight down because hmm. um, you do want in as light a, light a pad as possible, which is exactly what the, the DC range of pads does. And that goes down from the 1280s all the way down to sort of the junior junior pads as well. Um, within that, you've also got some gloves that are just as sort of not basic, mm. but simple in terms of the, the level of protection is still absolutely fantastic, but it's more of that stripped down in the where, where weight isn't required it's yeah. sort of removed from that. And, and I think, you know, what's great about the range is you've got everything that will suit, you talk about strip back feel, I, we, we talk about that as maybe more entry level, so mm -hmm. if, um, if you know, ultimately the, the more money you spend on your pads and gloves ten, tends to more mean the better level of protection you get. Yeah. Um, but what you do do in your range is you offer something for the young cricketer coming in who wants to wear a new balance kit and mm -hmm. look like Joe Root, yeah. um, but can still do that you know, on, on, a, on a certain price point mm -hmm. versus someone who does need a pair of pads and gloves that are suitable to play the level of cricket that, yeah. that Joe Root plays, so. Yeah, so the, the kids coming through, they're obviously seeing, seeing their idols using this kit. They want to, to replicate that. And if you're having everything at a, a steep price point for those juniors, it's just mm. not gonna be affordable for them. So we really, we've really tailored our range, especially for the UK market, to help target those junior consumers um, to, to show the quality of the New Balance product that they can then carry on into their senior cricket careers and you never know, mm. some England stars of the future. I mean, talking of England stars, it must have been a, you know, a bit of a coup to get Joe Root and sign him into to New Balance product. Has that, has, how much of a difference has that made for you as a, as a cricket brand? A, as big a difference as you could possibly expect um, is he is pretty much English cricket. You talk English cricket, everyone knows Joe Root. Mm. And after the year he had in 2021, it was it was pretty much one of the best years of any mm. any professional test cricketer in the game. Um, so to have him on board with us is absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'm not, I, I mean, it's probably for debate at some point, but I'm I'm, I'm probably pretty sure he'll surpass sort of Alistair Cook's. Test, test yeah. batting record at some point in the future, assuming he stays injury free and, and fit. But from a brand point of view, what, what what's it like? I mean, people people out there um, must wonder, you know, what's it like to work with him? Um, you know, he's England Test captain. You know, does, does, is he really picky about his bats? Does he does he want a certain amount of grains in them? How does he go about choosing them? Or do you choose them for him and say, Joe, this is what we've got to use it next week at Lords? Or how, how does that work? So we we have our factory. Um, that makes every single bat that you see in shops, mm -hmm. that those bats are made by the exact same bat makers as make Joe Roots, Joe Clarks, any of the international stars or county stars that you see um, across the across the screens. Um, so Joe went out to our factory um, to actually have a look at the process of his bats being made and real, really dive into the detail of how his bats are and what he actually likes to be able to tell the bat maker specifically mm. this is what I like this is what I don't and get the specific shape for him and the success that he's had um, just goes to show that having that right bat in his hands yeah. makes a makes a huge makes him comfortable and makes a makes a difference for him and his performances you know I think what what people hope you know will, will realize at home you know he, he's a professional cricketer he's at the top of his game he's mm -hmm. one of the world's greatest players yeah his equipment is is his tools of his trade. It's, yeah. it's, it's vital that he has, 
you know, good equipment that works for him. Mm -hmm. So uh, understanding that level of detail and going out there and, and making sure the bat maker knows what he needs is probably pretty critical and mm -hmm. for, for him to, to hopefully make sure he does well. So I guess I've got a question on that because I'm intrigued to know he plays a lot of cricket. Mm -hmm. how, how many bats a year does he use? How many does he get through? <laughs> Uh, there's a question. <laughs> probably, probably close to maybe 20, really? if not more. Wow. Um, just like you say, the amount of cricket that they do play and the amount of training that they do, that's, yeah. they, there's a lot of, lot of balls lot being of balls hit being there. Hit. We, 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 often, we often say in, in store that uh, you know, your bat will probably last something like 800 to 1,000 runs. You know, mm -hmm. people, because it's always a question that you can't answer. You know, how, yeah. how long is my back going to last? Well, if you play only once a week and you don't train, it will probably last you the remainder of your career yeah. almost. Whereas if you're someone like Joe Root, who's training every day and playing at a high level and hitting lots of balls, mm -hmm. tw 20 bats a year is probably yeah. probably the same amount of cricket I'm playing, but I, I'll get by with one. So, yeah. um, so 20 bats, that's, that's good going. That keeps the bat maker busy. They do, it does. And that's... That could be being, even being kind. Yeah, um, it could be more than that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. So, so how how do you go about? Um, I mean, you've mentioned earlier about the impact that someone like Joe Root has for you as a brand in mm -hmm. terms of bringing you forward, and 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 I think you alluded to it. Is it, it really gives you as a company that authenticity of a of a, of a cricket brand that mm -hmm. you're well respected, you're well known. Yeah. You know, all the youngsters out there will know of New Balance cricket because yeah. of people like Joe Root. Um, people of a, an older generation might not be aware of New Balance cricket because mm -hmm. they're used to other brands that have, that have been around for a while. So. How, how do you go about choosing the, I guess, the brand ambassadors that are going to use New Balance kit? What, what, what's, the, what's the process in that? So we, we obviously, from your, if you were to look at our sort of players that we currently have, um, from an England perspective, you've got Joe Root and Mark Wood. So you've got two players at the top of their game. From an Australia perspective, you've got Steve Smith, who's arguably one of the best, if not going to be one of the top Australians of all time and Pat Cummins um, so you're wanting the players who are at the top of their game but also real really good people because mm. we're, we're a very much a family focused <coughs> family focused brand um, so we want our ambassadors need to have that sh share the sort of the same core values that we as a brand have and those four that I've mentioned all tick those boxes absolutely perfectly mm. So I guess outside of maybe me being, you know, fitting into your core values, I'm not sure I'm going to have the performance levels to be maybe one of your players. So I think I'll have to, uh, I'll have to, keep, I'll have to keep working on my game. I think to to get to that level. Then. Um, what about the women's game? Well, mm -hmm. we've talked quite a bit here about your, your ambassadors in the men's game. Yep. The women's game, you've got a few players that, that you work with on that side. Yep. Um, currently, women's World Cups going on. Um, ha, ha, have you seen seen an impact on that side too? Or? The way, the women's game, as you say, is is growing, and the fact that this visibility is is there mm. of this women's game, and it's being put on sort of free to air TV with the hundred last year, and the fact that the hundred, the first game of the hundred was a women's game. It's absolutely amazing for for women's cricket, and they will, I know, will only build on that. Um, from a playing perspective, from, a, from an England perspective, we have Kate Cross, mm -hmm. so one of the one of the leading wicket takers over the last couple of years for England, and one of the one of the mainstays of the team now. Um, and then from Australia, we've got Meg Lanning, so Australia captain, again, pinnacle players that share our core values yeah. that we that we want, and they're the ones that are doing the business week in week out. Um, and putting the effort in and putting putting in the hard yards mm. and and that's what we really respect as a brand um i think interestingly not that long ago we you, you introduced the burn range into mm -hmm. um into your stable of family of products if you yep. like uh, we've noticed quite a few women and girls going into the burn range probably mm -hmm. maybe the lightness in the in the bats that 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 range offers if you, yep. would that be a, a trend that you've seen or or did you design that specifically for that market or um so with the burn, we didn't design it specifically as a 
women's range, we designed it as the lightweight family of our product offering because we know that generally cricket bats can be a bit on the heavier side, yep. and especially for a transition bat from a from a harrow to a short handle. Some of those people, some of those players need mm. a lighter, lighter weight bat, and that's exactly what the burn does. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely. it's been very well received. Over, yeah. I think it's in its. 2018 was its first year yeah and it's again like like us as a brand it's gone from strength to strength yeah there's no doubt i mean i think the the burn range and we, we we've obviously done we've done some reviews independently just just on your bat ranges mm -hmm. um we obviously ourselves did one on your shoe range but um as far as the burns concerns it's a fantastic bat for uh not just the women and girls game but any any uh, youngster going transitioning from their first harrow into the first short handle yep. bat that works really well because it's just that little bit lighter mm -hmm. Um, and, and we often see as coaches, kids turning up with bats that are too big and too heavy. Yeah. And it's like, right, you know, it, it just ruins their technique. But yeah. certainly, you know, the burn is, is definitely a, has been a lighter option, mm -hmm. um, which serves, you know, that, those, those sort of people. Um, one range we haven't touched on yet mm -hmm. uh, is the heritage range. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's going to might bring up a few <laughs> sore memories for some people, including ourselves. But we brought that out really for the ashes. Yeah. Yeah, so it was pinnacle competition. You want a real classy, classy looking product. And the Heritage range, like a lot of things, is mm. exactly that. Just really clean um, designs on both the bats, the pads, the gloves. Everything is real clean, clean graphics, standout branding. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, we didn't, didn't have the best um, tour for that, but but I guess from your side, you back, you double backed yourself with Steve Smith on the other yeah. side of the fence. So yeah, and, and to be honest, Joe did fairly well out of the yeah. England players, um, just carrying on where he left off, sort of. Um, but no, the heritage, the heritage has done probably better mm. um, off the back of the vis visibility of the Ashes, mm. which is uh, which is fantastic. I, I, th I think, really, from a styling point of view, it's it, it's styled really well. It's mm -hmm. quite slick. Um, it's good traditional colours. I like the white. The white in the sticker range stands out yeah. quite nicely. Um, so as an ongoing range, anyway, those you know, for those that can still get that product, mm -hmm. it's it's going to be a, a you know still a top end range of product from New Balance. Yeah, and it's it's got a, pro, a profile that fits all players. Mm. So it's again, it's a similar similar um, sweet spot position to the TC range, if not slightly lower. So you can you target in those players who play off the back foot, those players who play off the front foot, that is that is a bat for, for all. Mm. Um, and a range for all as well, because you've got price points in the in the gloves of two different price points, if, if people want in that. And again, in the bats as well, you've got two, two different price points on that particular range, mm. which is great. I think that um, from an outsider looking in, you know, it is clear to see for me, I think that that New Balance have, have come into cricket. You've, you've come in as a global superpower in terms of trainers and, and sports wear, probably, mm -hmm. and leisure wear. Yep. Um, I, I guess the challenge with coming into cricket is it's got that whole equipment side of things, whereas other sports, maybe the New Balance is also known with, obviously you do a lot of athletics, a lot mm -hmm. of running. Um, there isn't as much personal equipment that goes with those mm -hmm. sports so yeah. was was that was that a challenge initially then you obviously you talked about Jonathan Trott getting involved I'm mm -hmm. sure his involvement would have would have helped you to yeah. a bit of a springboard but is that seen as slightly different from global HQ of new balances we, we're doing cricket now is that a whole new market or did you slip quite easily into, into it was producing it? due to the the knowledge that some of the the people behind the scenes have in the cricket industry it was a very smooth transition but as, as you sort of mentioned within cricket you have to have a bat you have to have pads you have to have gloves there's all the protective equipment that goes alongside it whereas in football mm -hmm. for example in the uk a pair of football boots Bruce. and shin pads that's yeah. all you really need yeah um so a lot more did have to go into it from a design and protection perspective but i feel that the work that's been done over the years and the initial groundwork that started before we became a cricket brand has paid dividends um, now, and um, we're sort of reaping the the rewards of that. Mm. I mean, it, it, lots of people out there will have seen you go from 
you know, introductory brand coming in 2013, 14 to quite a meteoric rise, mm -hmm. you know, doing the England kit through to having, you know, Joe Root and Kate Cross as England international stars yep. using your product. Mm -hmm. Well, where where do you go from here? Where where where's, what's the next step? What's the what's the future for for New Balance in cricket? Um, the, we're obviously always looking to develop our product ranges. Footwear is something that we, as a brand, are most well known for, and that is something that is going to continue to develop um, over the years, and just go again, go from strength to strength. You've got these players coming through, the likes of Joe Clark, Tom Moores at Knotts. They're both New Balance athletes um, that they're, they're knocking down the door. Mm. So when some of these players move on, they're, they're going to yeah, come in and one. fill it. And looking at the records in like county cricket, they're doing it pretty well. And Joe's obviously done really well going over to the Big Bash and some of the franchise tournaments that he's played. And Tom's done pretty well behind the sticks and, and oh, as yeah. a batter as well, hasn't he? So yeah, he's very you know, good. I'm sure he's, you know, hopefully following his father's footsteps of getting into some kind of national yeah. national team somewhere at some point. Um, that's interesting because how do you how do you identify that talent at a young age? Do you have I don't know how do you have scouts out there? Do you have people looking? How do you, how do you, do you how do you work out who the next Joe Root's going to be as a brand? To you know it must be is it a lucky dip? Is it <laughs> how, you know how, how do you, how do you go about that? It's it's a case of just looking at the players that are out there and seeing from a from a sort of sports marketing side of things which ones have got. So it's not necessarily just the on-pitch stuff, it's it's everything else, which obviously a lot of work goes into that behind the scenes. Um, the majority of the players that we've got, um, the likes of Joe Clark, for example, constant performers, mm. week in, week out, and then real good, really good people. Um, and that's just something that re we really look for. We want We want the best players, we also want the people to represent our brand in the right way, mm. and, and that's in, that's important that they they buy into that. I guess those those beliefs of you as a brand, because mm -hmm. ultimately they're on the world stage as your ambassador when they mm -hmm. walk out to bat or, or or mark out their run up to bowl. So. Um, Look, it's been, it's been it's been great 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 talking to you. Um, I'm sure lots of people have learned lots of things about the inner workings of New Balance and sport and the, and the cricket side in terms of uh, some of your superstar ambassadors that you have. Um, fantastic product range. We've we've reviewed uh, reviewed some of it independently in terms of bats and other things. So have a look at those videos. But as an overall range, I think from, from my point of view, having been in the game now for a long time. Um, it is really refreshing to see the big global brands come in, but but do a really good job. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 I think what's been great is where you've come in and just started with footwear, which is what you're really good at. Yeah. Uh, you've brought that to the market. You've revolutionised some of the footwear in the game, um, where historically we've we've not necessarily had fantastic footwear and a sport that you spend eight nine hours a day on your feet doing. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was a great starting point. Um, the range now. Um, is, is, is a nice close range, it's not massive, yeah. um, but it keeps it really tight that I think you can get some, you can get the quality in, mm -hmm. in all the families that you produce. So yeah. I think whether anybody's interested in the TC range, the DC, the Burn, or even the Heritage range, whichever one you're going to go for, you, 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 will, get, you will get really good product. Mm -hmm. And you can see that from the product development side of things where you've developed your footwear over time. Yeah. You can see that probably attention to detail going into the soft goods, mm -hmm. um, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Um, and it's great that, that, you know, we see so many youngsters using your, your product. That is testament to people like Joe Root who've, who've been successful. Mm -hmm. It's testament to you as a brand in, in picking the right players um, and, and developing and designing really good product. Yeah. Um, so again, th th thanks for your time. Thanks no, for coming thank in. You. Thank you. Um, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, um, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. There's more videos like this where you'll get inside information on the cricket world, the cricket market, what's going on. Feel free to make some comments below. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be nice. Give us some good comments. We'll see you all soon.